Well, we now have video of a, the moment that a Tesla in self-driving mode started breaking unexpectedly on the Bay Bridge, causing eight cars to pile up. Playing a lawsuit brought by the family of a Silicon Valley man who died in a crash, relying on the company's semi-autonomous driving software. The videos come in the wake of the first death of a Tesla driver while on autopilot. Because you don't know when the technology is going to say, I can't figure out what's going on. You need to drive now. Back in 2016, Tesla announced full self-driving. Well, I, I mean, I think, I mean, I really would consider autonomous driving to be basically a solved problem. To the deadly crash, the car is on a train. Before we go into this video, there are five levels of autonomous driving, or six, depending who you ask. There's level 0 where there is no autonomic feature in the car. Level 1 where the car can assist the driver through cruise control. Level 2 here the car can change lane position and speed, but the driver's attention is required at all times. Level 3 where the car can pretty much do everything, but the driver should be able to take over at any given moment. There is level 4, where the car can drive autonomously without any intervention under certain conditions. Then the holy grail level 5, where the car is fully autonomous under all conditions. Tesla is in level 2 autonomous driving with companies like Waymo and Cruise are at level 4. Elon Musk claimed a decade ago there would be self-driving cars on the road in 5 to 6 years. That's not all back in 2018, Elon said that your Tesla will earn you money as much as $30,000 when you sleep by joining Elon's robo-taxi network. Where's everything now? If you are wondering why the car creeps so forward in front of that intersection is because the car doesn't have a front bumper camera. To see the road is using the A and B pillar cameras. This wouldn't have happened if the car has a front camera or even better LiDAR sensors. IX chat GPT, how do you explain what is a LiDAR sensor and how does it work to a 5 years old? And this is what it says. Elon thinks lighter sensors are expensive and he hates them. Lighter is lame. Lighter is lame. The, the, I'm gonna dump lighter. That's my prediction. Mark my words. And in cars, it's freaking stupid. It's expensive and unnecessary. And as Andre was saying, once you solve vision, it, it's worthless. Elon uses cameras and ultrasonic sensors for the car. Ultrasonic sensors are used in a car to monitor the immediate surroundings of the vehicle and to measure distance to obstacles. These are pretty reliable and cost around $50 to $60 to replace and around $4 to $5 to manufacture. Apparently, these are too expensive for Elon to add to a $40 to $50,000 car because he replaced these sensors with 1280 by 960 resolution cameras despite the being advised to not do this by the Tesla engineers. All the Teslas from mid-2023 are not equipped with ultrasonic sensors. Crashes increased after this move. Who could have believed that except the engineers over at Tesla? Some features like Auto Park and Smart Summon aren't available to use for me in my car today. After I paid for them, they are still listed advertised and sold on the Tesla website. Partnership for Analytics and Research and Traffic Research Parts published that from 2015 to 2020 that lane departure warning and lane keep assist reduced rate of accidents by 9% and by combination of other features like automatic braking you will reduce your chance of crashing by 19% that's almost one of a fifth every accident is stopped Elon Musk claims that his full self driving is safer than regular people driving he says that there are 150 million miles driven by FSD beta and with around 400,000 cars that are subscribed to it, an average of 375 miles are driven by each car. And with 740 plus crashes and 17 fatalities, that's 11.3 deaths for 100 million miles for comparison, the human driven stats are 1.3 deaths for 100 million miles. 
So, autonomous vehicles are 10x more dangerous than regular drivers. We have seen the car do an eight car pile up over a bay bridge. Bridge. A Tesla, believed to be on autopilot, started braking, causing an eight car pile up on Thanksgiving. You can see in the video from California Highway Patrol that traffic was moving well just after 1230 in the afternoon. Then a white Tesla put on its left blinker, moves into the left lane and stops, causing the car behind it to crash into it, followed by six more cars. One vehicle even gets pushed up against the wall of the bridge. We have to keep alert and watch over the car while it drives itself. That begs the question, should it call full self-driving, autonomous driving, autopilot? The marketing and liability of Teslas don't add up. It's marketed as self-driving, but legally it's just advanced driver assistance. So legally I'm liable if the car causes any accident. Tesla is found guilty of turning off FSD seconds before a crash. There are no fully self-driving cars yet. I doubt that we'll ever get them in near future. I don't see the point of cars being unable to identify simple sign while investing billions of dollars into this tech. Instead of these cars fumbling at a stop sign, which is designed for human, we can create a special ecosystem for this car. The computer is good at doing repeated tasks, while the human brain works better than the computer in a spontaneous situation. If we provide suitable ecosystem for self-driving cars, we don't have to worry about them skipping a red light or fumbling at a stop sign since there will be no stop sign or red light. We can use an open system to connect an autonomous system to each other. They can then work like a school of fish, moving in the desired direction without crashing or disrupting the flow of the traffic. This system can be regulated by the government instead of a random billionaire CEO. Here it is guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really humble and really appreciate that you spend the time with me and watch this video. Please subscribe to my channel because this is the only free way you can support me as a content creator. Also, if you like this video, give this video a like and please comment below what you think about this video. Also guys, we're gonna arrange a giveaway of $20 Amazon gift card. So to participate on this giveaway, what you have to do is number one, subscribe, number two, like this video, and number three, comment anything in this video. And end of this month, what I'm gonna do, I'm cho I will choose the right winner who did all these three. And then I'm gonna announce the name on my social platform, either Instagram or x or twitter whatever you call so again guys thank you so much again i really really appreciate that and thank you for watching and have a wonderful wonderful day